Hi guys and welcome back to Football Manager 2018 with AC Milan. As you can see, we're playing Zenit at the moment, which means something has been missed and you are quite right. Atalanta and Inter. Honestly, what an episode it was. I cannot believe. I should explain we've had some technical difficulties, unfortunately, with the file being corrupt on that episode. And I'm gutted because what an episode it was. 4-2 and 5-2 of the victories. Let's just walk through it a little bit. As we can see here, we had a stormer of a game. Chiesa, man of the match there. Uh, Sani got us off to a flyer. Silva doubled her lead. Silva tripled her lead. And Chiesa scored himself. After assisting the first three, Chiesa scored himself to quadruple the lead. Second half, Alejandro Gomez gabbed two uh, consolation goals for Atalanta. As you can see on the match stats, 11-6. I think they had about one shot in the first half. So we kind of got complacent a bit at the break. But it was a brilliant performance. And I was worried about going to Atalanta. Atalanta are a really, really tough side to face. Uh, particularly with this boy, Alejandro Gomez. As you can see there, uh, the 30-year-old. Let's get an up-to-date scout report on him, actually because he impressed me playing really well for Atalanta then we had the Milan derby and that was somewhat similar uh, two minutes in Roma Gnoli has got us off to a flyer Andre Silva double the lead after eight minutes and I thought they were in for an absolute hammering like 7 nothing or something uh, but they made it to half time at 2-2 they didn't manage a single first half shot it was about 13-0 in the first half shot count we then go into the second half Icardi grabbed the goal with their second shot of the game Um then Icardi grabbed a goal again and they actually brought it back to 2-2 and at this point, as you can imagine I was on the verge of just absolutely losing it at this point, but quickly Bonaventura actually did really good work slipped it to Leroy Sani who curled it into the top corner, it was a great goal uh, then Bonaventura scored himself a low finish into the net, Chiesa wrapped it up, it's 5-2 it ends up looking really comfortable but the way the game unfolded it was sketchier than it really should be. But we won 5-2 in the Milan derby against a really, really weak Inter side. They look in real, real trouble, Inter. Uh, hopefully hopefully they do fall away and they lose their best players and they, they, end, up, um, they end up rotten, frankly. <laughs> but Chiesa again picking up man of the match. He has been brilliant since signing from Fiorentina for that £50 million, which now looks a bargain. So, the team... To go to Zenit, the same team that played those two games, you can't argue with, with a with a lineup that scored um, nine goals in two games. However, I am going to argue with Bonucci, and I'm going to put Barzagli in for this because Bonucci's been sketchy, and we have conceded what we have conceded four goals in two games when we've been the supremely dominant team. Uh, Kalinic, by the way, eighteen million pound bid from Napoli, so he will be going to Napoli hopefully. Um, we get rid of him, we get 18 million in the coffers. Right, anyway, without further ado, we're playing Zenit in Russia after, of course, that brilliant 0 0 away in London. This will be a, a game which can help us seize control of the group. I believe Arsenal will either be in Greece against Olympiakos or Olympiakos will be in London uh, to, to obviously face. Oh, sorry, it's not Olympiakos, it's FC Copenhagen. So Arsenal will either be in Denmark or Copenhagen will be in London. And the squad for us today, taking on Zenit in Russia, will be Donnarumma, Calabria, Barzagli, Romagnoli, Barreca, Locatelli, Kessi, Bilia, Chiesa, Sani and Silva. What's Sani worth, interestingly? We'd like to purchase him. He's worth £53 Alright. We're going to have to hope that maybe he gets listed or something by Man City. But if he has a really good season here, I doubt that will happen. So we're playing against no one, 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 no one and no one. I think there are actually names there, you just can't see them. Um, it's a horrible font there. Um, right, passionately go out and impress me. Bareka is pleased by that. We're in good form with free scoring currently, so hopefully we can go out and do the business against Zenit. But it will be a tough game, but hopefully we can get the win here as Zapacosta trips Sani right at the start of the game. Their font is disgusting. How are you supposed to read that? Goal kick now, Donnarumma. 
long it goes towards Chiesa he's not going to win the header but it is going to fall to him but Ragnar Klavan will ultimately somehow come out of that with a ball Crescito plays it forward uh, Clavin now to Javi Fuego as Arsenal take the lead Sadio Mane in London against Copenhagen that'll put them top of the group at the moment as Cochran is in with a chance on Donnarumma he shoots possibly too early and it was right into the hands of Donnarumma but a warning sign for us early on here as Emmanuel Mamana goes into the book and Mesut Ozil doubles Arsenal's lead in London 20 minutes gone in Russia and Zenit in control but Billy has free kick into the box it goes Ro Magnoli rises nods it down front Kessie what a save but Barzagli's there and it is offside against Andrea Barzagli unfortunate So half an hour in, it looks like a nil-nil here. Why are we on this? <clears throat> Antonio Barreca with a gashed head. Chiesa, what's wrong with Chiesa? Why is Chiesa hurt? Arsenal now 3-0 up. Potential knee injury for Chiesa. That is not good. He'll need to come off at half time here. We did grow into that a little bit. Shot count relatively even now. Just see if we get a goal and make his favourites to win. Uh, Bilia liked the chat there apparently um, how are we going to do this I think well we'll bring Darmian on for Bareka even though he doesn't love to play on that left hand side Calabria is kind of the same so we'll just go do you know what we'll do Darmian on the left uh, Chiesa is going to come off for Chalinoglu um, yeah, I guess he's just going to have to try and play as a winger in this second half. Tell him to get creative. We've obviously not created anything. Kranovitter gets it from Javi Fuego. Clavan to Javi Fuego and Kranovitter again. Darmian now with a throw in. First piece of action in the second half. Sani takes it down. Sani to Locatelli. It's a good ball. Locatelli back the way to Kessie. Frank Kessie goes out to Chalanoglu. It's a good pass. Chalanoglu, he's got the overlap from Calabria there. He beats a man, plays it to Calabria. Should have just kept going. It's in, it's deep, it's Sani. It's a shot, it's off the frame of the goal and wide. I think Sani should be taking a touch and squaring that for Andre Silva, perhaps, there. But seven shots apiece now. An hour gone, actually. Eight, seven to ourselves now. Zenit not obviously been as effective in the second half. As Noboa is off for Shatov on the other side. Vern Bloom and Poloz also on for Zenit St. Petersburg. Um, I'm not going to tell them anything, actually. I think it's going okay. 15 minutes left in the half. Mm, throw Kalin at John, I suppose. I'm going to tell them to push forward for the last 10, just see if we can't get something. 9-8 shot count, 3 apiece on target, 15-11 foul count, 2-0 to them on yellow cards, 52-48 possession, so very even but it looks like it's going to be a bit of a boring nothing each. 93 minutes played, Chalinoglu's cross cleared by Zappa Costa, Sani picks it up now, crosses it back in, Granquist with a good challenge, and he'll probably clear for the end of the game, he clears, and the game is over, another 0-0 on the road in the Champions League for ourselves. I'm going to tell them they were unlucky, it's not a terrible performance I suppose. I think that does leave Arsenal... Uh, two points ahead of us. Bareka will see the club doctor for his gashed head. Chiesa is out three to five days with a twisted knee. Hopefully he'll be back in time for the Novara game. But what I do need to do is switch... Wow, what the hell? My subs are all over the place here. What I do need to do... That was weird. Uh, yeah, what I do need to do, as I say again, Carlos Baca switching with Kalinic. If Kalinic is on his way out, then I might as well put him up there. Napoli also interested in Carlos Baca, which is a bit of a weird one. I'm going to offer him to clubs for 15 million and see if M will take him. We can maybe look at getting another player in. We might even bring back uh, Catroni from loan. Uh, but without further ado, let's just continue on for the Novara game. We we'll have had a bid for Carlos Baca from China. Would still be expected to pay some of his wages, but we get 70,000 or so off the wage bill, so I suppose that's acceptable. We will ask for 13. They find that acceptable, so Carlos Baca could be on his way to China. Thirteen million for a thirty-two-year-old who's not doing the business. I think that's a decent deal, even if we still have to pay thirty-seven and a half grand of his weekly wage. Chiellini in contract talks with Juve. 
Bayern beat Madrid interesting UV smashing Sparta Prague PSG turn over Inter as expected Inter are really poor there's no way they get through that group with Barca and PSG in it and we're just on to Novara now before we actually have Lazio uh, at home which a game we're obviously looking forward to we need to go there and beat them uh, well they need to come here and get beat by us I should say we're not going anywhere we're at home as Kalinic's £18 million move to Napoli is confirmed he will be moving there in January not needed uh, season last season got four goals this season nothing and we've actually made 250 grand profit on him somehow uh, Max Arnold we'll have a look at Ditto Yarmolenko Asensio be great to get him uh, Reese Nelson we also look at Ditto Joe Gomez what I just wanted to check was the budget you know we've got 7 million or so and we've got like 100 odd grand uh, so we're not really going to have much money to strengthen the side even with moving these two out uh, yep Carlos Baca has also confirmed to be leaving for £13 million pounds to China so that's good getting the two of them out and we can look to do something in January about a striker as I say probably bring back Catroni actually from his Novara loan because we don't really have the money we don't have the coffers to go and buy players we're relatively poor in the current economic situation of football I mean we spent 50 million on Chiesa but that's really really top end of what we can spend on someone and we could only do that because we'd sold players so we're now up to 11 and a half million we went up like 3 million having brought in 11 million or so uh, sorry 13 million actually it was wasn't it that we brought in and we're up to 11 million or so so if we look at the finances we only get 35% of the transfer revenue so we have to be really frugal going forward shall we say I think Chiesa is probably going to be the last big signing we make for quite a while. As we await the Novara game. Come on. Gabia not playing well as Intelli gets smashed. Plazari playing okay as Verona get a 1-1 draw. Inter Bologna, Lazio, Napoli. A nice draw between Lazio and Napoli please. And I'd like Bologna to go smash Inter just because it would be funny. Right, where are we? 2 2 into Bologna. Napoli actually going beat Lazio. Okay, so we're actually one of these middle of the road games. Oh, Juve versus Roma. A nice draw there would be good. A nice draw there would be good. Federico Key is as capable as is Antonio Barreca. We're going to have to play them, I think. Um. Uh, do you know what I'll go Chalinoglu for Chiesa I don't want to risk him getting injured and I suppose we'll go Darmian as well we will we will swap them out actually there's no point in playing them injured uh, but other than that we're going to go with exactly what played Zenit uh, Berzagli is going to retain his position over Bonucci he came in and we got a clean sheet so you can't argue with that for a defender uh, Donnarumma Calabria Berzagli Romagnoli Darmian Locatelli Kessie Bilia Chalinoglu Sani and Silva Chalanoglu is a winger is not something I want to be employing all too often but just now for Chiesa being out we will do that uh, a 4 two, two, 2 I suppose you would say here from Novara and of course our man Cotroni has 3 goals and 7 starts for them and he is going to be in there uh, playing today he is their top goal scorer actually with those 3 league goals but I'm going to assertively say we should be winning this without any problems at all Matteo Darmian seems impressed by that and we will encourage the team as Andre Silva plays it to front Kessie out to Darmian on the left Darmian forward to Bilia a good touch from him Dickman and Margiota are both actually injured for Novara but they, they play uh, Sani now out for Caldara it's not a good one it's cut out by Calderoni great play by Novara pinging around there is Tirani will get it now he's got acres of space actually on this right hand side plays it over the top Margiotta, who's actually carrying a knock, has the ball. Catroni is in space. It's in. It's Catroni, you little shit. Patrick Catroni. He's put one over his former clubs. No, he didn't. He's fucking put one over his current club. And with less than 30% possession and only one shot, Novara have taken the lead. I think we're probably going to have to deploy... Chiesa in the second half 
It doesn't look like we're breaking through. We've had seven shots in the opening 25, created nothing. And we're, cre we're still creating nothing. Eight shots here. Chalanoglu's played really poorly. We're racking up the bookings now. It's Fiorentina are ahead at Spezia. Montipo with a long goal kick. Darmian heads it to Bilia now. Come on, we need to score here. Frank Kessie looking for Locatelli to run forward. He doesn't. It goes to Andre Silva now. Andre Silva for Chalanoglu. Takes a touch. Very wide, cuts back, plays it through Calabria, ball in, Andre Silva, and there we go for 1-1. As Fiorentina retake the lead against Spezia, 2-1 just before half-time in their game. But 1-1 here, AC Milan against Novara. Thank God we got that for the break, now can we really sucker punch them? Chalanoglu to Locatelli, space here. Can he get it out to that left side? He goes to Andre Silva, it's a nice touch, back to go, forced away though by the defender. Inside to Frank Kessie who smashes one. It's just over the bar. He has scored them quite a few times, so you can't kind of blame him for trying, but it will be half time at one one. Hopefully our quality and our pressure will just tell. But I'm no happy. Uh, Calabria I lose confidence, fine, I don't care. We're no happy with this. We can't be happy with this. Now we're gonna bring on Chiesa. Not what well, not something I want to do. We're gonna to have to. Sani, ease off your tackles. Uh, oof. Bonaventura on for Kessie who's not been good today Romagnoli ease off your tackles uh, Bilia I don't even think we can I know we can Bilia ease off your tackles as well start the second half push forward Sansoni on the left hand side for them tries a little trick but out it goes for a Milan throw So really none of them have actually played well. Catroni has a 7 just because he scored. But our team there's a lot of poor performers as well. Barzagli only has a 6.4 in there. Caleri beating Spal. Sansoni with a corner. We have to be alert here. It's in towards Catroni who flicks it on. And then it's headed in by Trost. And how the fuck have they managed that? Honestly, right. It's, it's overload time. High up direct passing let's go for this we need to win just a draw would be unacceptable here demand more and they've got three injured players in the park now that Catroni's picked up an injury right something has to happen um, um, I really don't know what to do I suppose Darmian can come into the middle kind of first be on the right in a two man pairing or in the middle of a three man group alright you're in the middle then Calabria is going to come off for a striker. Bonaventura is going to be attacking midfielder. Uh, Carlos Baca, I suppose, can come in as an advanced forward. But this is an absolute shambles here, chasing the game with 20 minutes to go against a Novara team who have played today with a combined total of three injured players in this squad. Cotroni, one of them, obviously has a goal and an assist. It's a brilliant challenge there, though. Bonaventura now, can he play it through? He's going to shoot, isn't he? Yeah, a ridiculous shot from Bonaventura. Here's Romagnoli now. We need a goal quick if we're going to have any chance of winning this. A long, long, long throw. Chase it down, Silva. Tarani picking it up in the corner. Launches it long. Picked up there by Darmian, now it's Locatelli. Touch, plays it forward to Bonaventura. Can he get it through for Silva? He can, he shoots, it's a save, it's an easy save. It's not even a save, it's just over the bar. It's a really poor effort there. And we're getting into the last couple of minutes. We're going to throw Andrea Barzagli up front. We're going to leave us completely exposed at the back. Barzagli is just going to be a target man. And we're just going to pump balls into the box now. Hoof it, early crosses, let's just do what we can. Unfortunately, what we can has proved to be really poor so far. Locatelli, Bonaventura now. We could easily get hit for 3-1. It's long, it's up to Barzagli. It's headed away and it's actually picked up now by Novara. Cassadini with a chance to get something going. Plays it out to the left. Huge chance. Ball into the middle quickly. It's back out wide. Tarani now. Can he find a ball into the box? There's a huge overload it's in. It's away by Darmian. Bonaventura to get to it. Have Novara overcommitted the other way. It's forward for Berzagli. It's a terrible ball, but he does get it back. It's Silva now. Can he play in Baca or Berzagli? He goes for Berzagli. It's easily cut out, though. 
Calderoni now completely closed down but finds an easy ball out to Sansoni and that's such a waste from ourselves we really should have created something here but now we're going to get stung the other way Rome Ignoli cutting it out actually it's a horribly scrappy game as headed by Chiosa Sani now who's picked up a knock Locatelli forward to Berzagli moves it on quickly for Silva cut out Calderoni now it's forward towards Catroni Darmian heads it away Locatelli we need to show a little bit of quality in our final ball here Tarani now over the top there's a bit of quality in the final ball Catroni's in to absolutely bury us Catroni there it is guess who's getting recalled I better actually have the ability to recall him two goals and an assist for Catroni as we go down at Navarra And I can't even blame her injuries because they've been dealing with injuries today as well. As Donnarumma will take this, it'll be over. Free kick, Novara. Backer with a push. Just blow the whistle, ref. Put us out of our misery. Novara keeper takes his time over the kick. Come on, kick the thing. And there's the whistle. Why did he wait so long? Just blow the whistle. Obviously, they're going to get absolutely put on blast for that. It's a horrible performance from us there. Terrible play. Absolutely terrible. Andre Silva, seven to nine days, will miss the Lazio game. Great. Calabria, five to seven days. Sani, three to five days. All these players, no, probably not going to play against Lazio. Catroni was brilliant. Can we recall him? We can't do it outside the transfer window. Alright, so at the transfer window, we'll recall them then. Uh, any more games to see? There is. There's that UV Roma game. Which gives UV the chance to move to within one point of us somehow. Uh, UV have lost at the Juventus Stadium to Roma. Roma now go eight points clear of us. And we really need to shape up now. You know, all this talk about the, the early season and it not starting well. We're, all, we're nearly a quarter of the way through this season now. We need to really buck up our ideas here um, of course next time out is going to be a huge game against Lazio but I'm just gutted by how poor we were against Novara there uh, it just goes to show when we need to change it up a bit when we when we don't start Chiesa you know when we're bring Darmian in for Bareka when we need to change it up a little bit it falls to pieces give credit to Catroni I suppose he picked us apart took his spot but I'm no happy whatsoever about how that went um Anyway, uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the series at the very least, if, if not that episode, because that was a really abysmal performance from us. Next time out, we're hosting Lazio, a must-win fixture. Lazio, one of the rare teams who've actually started the season well. Um, so we'll need to beat them at San Siro. And then away, we're away at Udinese, which can be a tricky fi uh, fixture, tricky venue to go to. So we'll need to watch that we, we don't slip up there. We can't afford any more slip-ups now. We've slipped up already, what, five times in the opening eight games. We only have three wins. It's not good enough, must do better, says the report card. Hopefully Chiesa will be back at least, but we'll probably be missing Sani. Uh, so pff, maybe a change of formations on the cards, but we'll see you next time. Um, I, I, thanks for watching as always, and I'll see you next time for uh, Lazio and Udinese.